G'day boys and girls, Big C back here in the kitchen. Today I'm bringing you the fucking easiest recipe you're ever gonna do, cornbread. Uh, now there's a little ingredient in there that might be sacrilege in the southern states of America. So if you're gonna direct any hate mail at me, just you know, make sure you go and fuck yourself before you go. <laughs> I'm playing for it. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna run through the ingredients. Wet and dry ingredients, mix them together, and then pour it into a cast iron skillet, which you must buy. Cast iron skillet, please. So uh, yeah, let me, let me go through the ingredients. Cup of plain flour, cup of cornmeal, which is this stuff. Get it from 50 states if you can't find it anywhere else. Half a cup sugar, half a cup full cream milk, one cup of fucking what's called buttermilk. And on this plate here, we've got three teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter of a cup of melted butter, and this is a quarter of a cup of vegetable shortening, and that's that, you know, that butter in the, in the, at the, the butter at the, at the fucking shop, fuck, oh, sorry, I'm hungry over shit. The butter um, aisle or whatever. This stuff, and we'll know it, the, the Aussies will know it as coffer. It's like white, vegetable short, and you'll find it. And uh, two eggs, and two bowls, and a whisk. Oh yeah, and uh, just a big shout out to the bottle of Absinthe Road for the uh, hat. Cheers, Natalia. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's get to it. Oh, you're probably thinking, oh, that flour's lumpy. Did you sift that? Yeah. So, a cup of flour. Plain flour, cup of cornmeal. Now this is the sacrilegious moment. Half cup of sugar and cornbread. Pretty sure you're not meant to put it in, but the recipe calls for it and I like it, so fuck you. Yeah. Half cup of cast sugar, because it's easier to blend. And uh, yeah, you, you half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of baking soda, and three teaspoons of baking powder. They all go in there. And yeah, whisk that away. In case you're wondering, uh, this is the same shirt I've been wearing for the past couple of weeks, and yes, that stain on it is garlic sauce from my kebab I for lunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to feel that later. It's really going to fucking hurt. Oh, and by the way, preheat your oven to 190. Fan force. Wet ingredients. Butter. Like I don't claim to know all this shit, I'm you know, most pretend. Two eggs. Okay. Probably don't just dump in there like that because um, this shit just went everywhere. Alright. I'm just going to do a little uh, magic television and just cut to the next scene after I clear all this mess away because my OCD is just getting out of control. I'm freaking out! That's all good to go. Now just mix the two together and mix again. Now you probably, I was going to ask, what, what does the batter need to look like? Well, it's like a cross between pancake batter and, I don't know, just normal cake batter. I don't know, it's sort of like that. It's fairly thick. Don't get scared now. Yeah. Oh. Now through the power of editing. Sorry, through the Look at you, uh, For the power of editing, we're going to cut to the cast iron skillet that I'm going to heat up and put a quarter of a cup of vegetable shortening in there. Pour that in there, let that cook for about five minutes on the stove, and then whack it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. Cast iron skillet. Fucking him. great investment. Please get one. Um, now, you probably, I don't know if you've heard of seasoning the pan, but basically, just grab yourself some vegetable oil. I'm sweating like a motherfucker, I know. Grab yourself some vegetable oil and some paper towel. Pour like two tablespoons of vegetable oil in the pan and then just rub it around with the towel and it'll glisten right up. That's called seasoning the pan. 
the least I sing it is anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, I've got to stop saying anyway. Fuck's sake. All right, here's all my vegetable shortening, which I'm going to pour in there and pour the batter in. And I'm going to try and do that with uh, two hands. Vegetable shortening in the pan, let that melt down, and get a slight little smoke coming up, and then pour the batter in. All right, here we go. Quickly get a spatula. Quick, man on a mission, man on a mission. Spatula, spatula. Spatula. Come on. Fuck, this already smells good, eh? Alright, guys, that's what it's looking like. Now, Take that, whack it straight in the oven, 19 degrees Celsius, 20, 25 minutes, keep an eye on it. Put your finger in the center and see if it's moist. If it is, it's undercooked. If it's not, she's dry as the oven boy. Alright guys, cornbread's in the oven, 20, 25 minutes. Put the photos in the end, show the finished product. It's fucking smelling amazing in here. It's already looking good. And uh, yeah, that was Big C cooking some cornbread with sugar. Yeah, I know, so sue me. Anyway, have a great fucking evening. Peace out.